we are back with acceptance. Part of that acceptance is that critic. Most of the time when we hear about a critic, it's something like do, 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 do. And they're judging you and they're saying all the bad things about you and it doesn't make you feel great. So how is your inner critic? Is the mind, is the self-talk, are what you're saying to yourselves the negatives or the positives? Because we all have these little negative things that we can work on to be a better person, to be kinder. But we also have strengths. We also have our strengths. Are you learning what you're strong at, what you're good at? You know, school is a way or work is a way that you can take some risks and try new things and go, oh, I'm not very good at that. I'm really good at that. So I'm going to go in that direction. And that's about playing to your strengths. You find something you're good at through practicing and trying, and then you go in that direction. That's why in school, you get learn all these different things and you go, mm, I don't really like that. Mm, I actually really like that and I enjoy that and I'm good at that. So I'm gonna go in that direction. So basically, are you accepting, are you aware of your strengths and are you playing in to those strengths or is your inner critic, the negative one, winning out and beating you down? Get rid of that critic and think about the good things and think about your strengths.